Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my latest video. Now I thought that I'm going to shoot this video outside in the park uh, but it was so hot that I couldn't even sit for 10 minutes so I came back to my room and I'm sitting, actually sitting on my floor to calm myself down and I'm much better right now. And I have the straight position because I'm trying to hide the mini refrigerator right, that's right behind me. So, so I'm really excited because it's my first makeup haul video. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I bought last month and um, I've actually used almost everything uh, from here because I got it last month but I had the, got this idea that why, why don't I do a makeup haul video because I didn't want to like do it because um, I'd open them and I had to review them and I because I don't know a lot about makeup but then I thought what I feel about them I can just do it because I bought two or three of these products um, watching other people's review only so I thought why not what if my review helps certain people so now that all these items are open it's a makeup haul plus a review video so the first thing that I'm gonna pull out of the bag is not an item of makeup but it's something I really wanted to share it's more of a summer essential and it's something that I love it's actually I use the year-round but it is the body mist by pink and it's called fresh and clean and it's this pink bottle and actually the bottle has bottle also has like these pink polka dots i love the smell and uh, i always buy two of these because two of these are on um an offer so i think people should actually buy this okay so now the real makeup haul so the first thing that i'm pulling out i bought it from sephora and it's the laura mercier tinted moisturizer so i think um i always at sephora planning to buy um foundation but um, the guy at Sephora told me that I didn't need a lot of coverage so why was I buying a foundation why don't I try the Laura Mercier so he gave me a tester and I loved it um, so this is what the moisturizer looks like I got it in a shade tan that uh, suits me the best and it's actually a cult uh, moisturizer or tinted moisturizer now I read a lot of good reviews about it but it blends so well and it gives you light coverage and it also has an SPF I'm not sure how much but I'm going to mention it in the uh, description below so I'm actually wearing it right now and you can say that, you know, it blends in so well that you cannot tell the difference between, you know, uh, the skin without it and with it. And it gives you light coverage, as I told you before. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, it's like. It looks like this. And I've taken a lot of it. What do I do with it? I'm wasting it. So I'm going to just apply it here. I'm already wearing it. And I want to just show you how blendable it is. And you can see another bottle of pink right behind me. Because <laughs> I told you I bought two. So there it is. It blends in so well. Like you and you. So now you can't even tell the difference. It blends in so well. And um, it's much. Uh, I haven't used a foundation, but because they recommended it to me and I bought it and I love the product. And because I'm, oh, by the way, I'm thinking of doing a three minute makeup video uh, as my next video. So I'm going to be using this and you'll see how easily it blends. I hope I'm able to. So the next thing that I'm going to pull out of the bag is this thing that I've been waiting to own and I finally have it. It's something that you don't get in Canada and I had to actually ship it from uh, the US. It is the Paint Blush by Milani. So all the people who live in Canada, they know that we do not get it here and we hear such good reviews about it that, you know, I really wanted it and um, now I have it. I got it from this website called well.ca and I'm going to post the link in the description. So this is what the product looks like. It's a big blush and uh, you see uh, the packaging. If I am not kidding, if it is in, it was in a Giorgio Armani or a NARS packaging, it would have passed on because the, the quality of the product is so good and they say that it is um, like the NARS Orgasm. But because I've never used NARS Orgasm, I don't know. And they have a mirror right here with a brush, which I don't use. I use my own brush. So uh, you can see this peach shimmery um, blush that I've applied. It's this baked blush and uh, this is the color that you get and I think it fits all the skin tones. It's this amazing color and stays for a long time. People you've used uh, NARS Orgasm can tell the difference but I can't because I haven't but I've heard that it's pretty safe. So now moving on to the next uh, product. It is another blush that I got from Sephora and it's another baked blush and it's in Tangerine Teas. So this is what the blush uh, looks like. Uh, there are two shades in it and it's called Tangerine Teas. And when I was at Sephora and I was trying out, trying it out, it merged so well with my skin tone because I don't like two pink uh, blushes on my skin tone and this fit 
like sorry this suits my skin tone so well that i love it and it's actually i bought this before milani and this um girl at sephora helped me choose it and i love this product and i think i'm going to get more sephora products i'm doing a little demo and i'm showing you how the blush looks on my cheeks i'm using my body shop brush and i've just la you know lately learned how to use a blush so the best part about the blush is just that it highlights my um cheeks and i think it gives me the perfect look Okay, then the next product that is uh, now uh, these the products that I'm going to pull out are all from Maybelline. So I got a lot of Maybelline products last month. I think I love Maybelline as a brand, uh, and uh, you have a lot more to choose from in Canada than I had to choose from in when I was in India. So the first thing, the two things that I'm pulling out right now are these uh, things that I heard a lot about. These are the um, color tattoo by Eye Studio, and there are the 24-hour eyeshadow, and they actually last really long. So when I go to work in the morning and I put them, they actually when I come back, and if I go out at night when I'm gonna come back, I'll have to take off that eyeshadow. So they really last longer. They comes in the they, they comes they come in these glass bottles. And this one is my favorite one. It is uh, in metal. And I was looking for a gold uh, metal eyeshadow for a very long time. And this is how this looks. And uh, I'm wearing it right now. So I don't know if you can make out whether I'm wearing it or not. And if it's it's something very nice because if I put a lot of layers of it, it's going to be this sparkly. But if I only use it like, like put two layers of it, it looks really natural. And obviously you don't want to look sparkly when you're going to work. But at night if you want to go and you you know, want to have those statement eyes, then definitely you can have a little more layers than um, you do at the day. The second product, the, uh, the second color that I bought in was Letter QA. Letter QA, I don't know. What how do you, how do you pronounce it? Letter QA. It's this grayish, bluish, charcoalish uh, color that I have. Now, this color looks really good with, you know, our skin tone, the brown skin tone, and I love it. You know, I put that and then I put a little coal and eyes are not smoky eyes but they're they really stand out and i love uh i love this as well but i use use uses i don't know what the heat the heat blame it on the heat it's august but yeah so um i don't use it as much as i use this and um but i love both of them i love the product and i think i'm going to get more shades in this uh you get them at a drugstore and they're not very expensive so i think you can indulge in these so these are the two colors that's what they look like this is the golden and this is the leather and as you can see they're pretty blendable they're very very blendable and somebody told me should i should use it with an eye primer and it's going to stay longer so definitely guys this gets a the next thing in my bag is um another thing that i was reading a lot of good reviews about but um I hadn't bought it, but it was always on my list. And this is the Age Rewind Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. And you can see it's gotten dirty because I've used it a lot. Now it has this brush on top, which is very, which makes it very easy to apply it under the eye or wherever you want. And the and the concealer is very blendable. I think you should just make sure what uh, shade you're using it in. I'm using it in shade um, 130 Buff Beige. And the quantity is quite a lot. So I'm trying to hide my pimple and I'm going to just keep dabbing it with my finger. The concealer is pretty blendable and the color, is, color suits my skin pretty well. And there you go. Pimple hidden. So the last product is uh, the Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara by Maybelline again. I love Maybelline mascara. Uh, mascaras. Uh, I've been using uh, Benefit for a very long time now. I love Benefit. But I think Maybelline, uh, one should always have one Maybelline mascara because they make the best mascaras. And also I read somewhere um, recently that you should always buy your mascaras from like drugstores because the the formula for making a mascara is same for even if it's for high end or this thing but i love benefit and I, i'm not saying that don't buy high end mascaras but i think maybelline does a great job and i've used this mascara before i'm sure everybody has it has uh, this is what the brush looks like i'm not going to apply it because i have already applied it and i've used this mascara only and it really lengthens your eyeshadow and it's jet black and i love it um so thank you guys i kind of changed my position several times during the video i know because i'm very fidgety and uh but thank you guys for watching this video uh i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm trying to make my videos look more fun but because i've just started doing it so i'm getting the hang of it and i'm learning the art of it uh thank you so much for watching this video please give me um love and likes and subscribes and let people know about it and whenever you watch my video and you give me a view please give me a thumbs up as well because uh it really uh um, you know helps build my um confidence and um i should be doing more videos about uh 
the places to see in Toronto, near Toronto, and uh, a lot of more food blogs. I'm waiting to go. Actually, uh, I work full time and I don't get a lot of time to do this, but I am paying more attention uh, now. And also my next video is going to be... Um, a three minute makeup challenge and I'm going to be using the products from this uh, makeup haul in doing it. I hope I'm able to do my makeup in three minutes. Um, and thank you guys again. I'm going to keep thanking you guys uh, for watching this video and hope you guys have an amazing day and you can see the pictures behind me. They're all my family. That's all I have here. Okay. Thank you and have a wonderful day.